Rabbi Goodstein, Congregation Beth Shalom, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words at the important event that you're having in Alaska. I'm sorry I could not be there uh, in person, but I wanted to be able to share a few thoughts. And um, I'm sure some of you saw on uh, Wednesday evening in Anchorage, there was a solidarity event for all Alaskans to stand with Israel. And I had the opportunity to say a few words at that too. Some of it will be a little bit repetitive, but um, I think it's so important that we come together as a community to support Alaska's Jewish community and support the citizens of Israel. So um, that is what I wanted to briefly talk about here. And uh, I wanna first begin by thanking our wonderful Jewish community in our state. We are so blessed. Uh, my wife, Julie, and I have seen this in so many ways. Uh, so many in our Jewish community in Alaska serve others, serve our state, and bring people together. And one silver lining of this horrendous, horrendous atrocity, tragedy, pure evil that we saw last Saturday in Israel is the people of Alaska coming together to support Israel and to support your community. And that's, as your senator, one thing that I believe in very, very strongly. You know, um, we've also seen the incredible, remarkable ties that Alaska's Jewish community has with Israel, senior leaders, military leaders. My wife, Julie, and I had the opportunity not too many months ago to visit Israel after going to the other Abraham Accords, countries in the Middle East that have all normalized relations with Israel. So much promise was there and now, of course, we are looking at barbarity, uh, evil that has uh, struck in the people of Israel and the people of America. After World War II, the horrors of the Holocaust galvanized all civilized people to a collective pledge, never again. And yet right now we are seeing the worst massacre of Jewish people in, in any time since the Holocaust. The pain, the grief, the anger that is occurring, of course, in Israel, but throughout our state, throughout our country, as so many people have lost loved ones, have had loved ones and friends wounded, has had people taken hostage, is literally unimaginable. And again, what we need to do collectively is come together to support one another. The other issue that I have been talking about, and I think it's more important than ever, is that this, this violence that we have seen is almost unbearable to watch. It's almost unbearable to even imagine old people, young people, babies being slaughtered. And yet the world has to see it. The truth has to be known and has to be remembered. And this also has to be stated. There is no moral equivalence between a barbaric terrorist group committing these kind of savage atrocities against innocence in a nation fighting to defend its very right to exist. That kind of moral equivalence is unacceptable and we all must say, no, there is no moral equivalence to that. We must also continue our relentless efforts to not only support Israel in its very difficult time of need. I recently had a phone call the day after this atrocity with our ambassador, the U uh, Israeli ambassador to the United States, Ambassador Herzog. Uh, some of you may know that he visited our state this summer we had great meetings, a wonderful dinner with him and his wife, but we will be supporting, and as your senator, I will ensure we have our country is militarily supporting, supporting through intelligence to enable the Israeli IDF to do what it must, and that is to defeat and crush the Hamas terrorists. And here's why. They don't want peace. All they want is the destruction 
of Israel and to kill more innocent civilians. So the days ahead are going to be very difficult. I think we all need to pray for wisdom for Israeli leaders who will be making very difficult choices. And of course, the IDF soldiers who would be going into harm's way in very, very difficult military operations. I wanna conclude by just mentioning again, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. We mourn together the over 1,100 um, Israeli citizens, including and also American citizens who have lost their lives. We pray for the safety of those who have been taken hostage and of course the military members who are going to be doing their duty. We recommit, all of us need to recommit to ending and stamping out anti-Semitism, which is unfortunately increasing around the world and even in our own country. And we pray for the safety of our Jewish community in Alaska and around the world. I'll close with some words of wisdom and perhaps comfort a prayer for perseverance and God's strength from Psalm 71. O oh God, do not distance yourself from me. My God, hasten to my assistance. The adversaries of my soul will be shamed and will perish, and wrapped in humiliation and disgrace will be those who seek to harm me. As for me, I shall constantly hope and I shall add to all your praise. My mouth will recite your righteousness all the days your salvation, for I do not know their number. I shall come with the mighty deeds of the Lord, and I shall mention your righteousness alone. Thank you again, and we are all working to make sure all Alaskans are gathered in solidarity to get through these very difficult times for our great ally Israel and our Jewish community in Alaska and throughout our country. God bless.